The parents of Justin Walker on their way to Mexico to identify the body of their only son. That body found on Playa Baghdad matched the spring breakers description. His remains will then be brought to the valley for an official autopsy. CBS 4's Nestor Mata joins us now with more. Nestor. Eddie, the Walker family has just arrived in Mexico to positively identify a body believed to be that of their missing son, Justin Walker. Authorities in Matamoros recovered the body Wednesday, but we're told Valley Baptist Medical Center in Harlingen is where the autopsy will be done. There are still more questions than answers in the case of spring breaker Justin Walker. The San Antonio area teen was last seen overnight Friday at the Ultimate Music Experience concert held at Schlitterbahn Beach Water Park. We don't know what or how it happened, but uh, really feel for the parents. The 18-year-old's parents were hopeful he would be found alive as they arrived on South Padre Island Wednesday to join the search. But shortly after, they learned a body matching their only child had been found south of the island along a beach in Mexico. And this male subject also um, is wearing uh, the same type of shirt that Justin was uh, wearing the same color short. He is also wearing a bracelet on his wrist from the UME concert. Mexican officials told investigators the body washed ashore early Wednesday morning. No further details as to the cause of death have been released. Deborah and John Walker now having to make a positive identification. Cameron County Park Rangers say an autopsy will happen here at Valley Baptist Medical Center in Harlingen. The body will then be moved here to Garza Memorial Funeral Home in Brownsville before heading to San Antonio. Just last year, the body of another UME concert goer was found in the swampy marsh near the water park. An autopsy later revealed 20-year-old Jordan Britton of Killeen had accidentally drowned. The president of South Padre Island's Business Association says little can be done to prevent such tragedies. It's unpreventable once they leave the property and they go out. You don't know what chain of events led him to get out into the Gulf. I reached out to UME organizers for comment. They told me, quote, any loss of life is a tragedy out of respect for the family and friends affected by this ongoing investigation. UME will not be offering additional comment at this time, end quote. I'm in the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.